Uh, about 20 minutes ago, Stacy did the news. Stacy, read the story that you did about O.J. Simpson. The family of Ronald Goldman will finally see some money from O.J. Simpson. A judge has ordered that royalties owed to the juice from past work in movies, TV, and commercials be paid directly to the family of Goldman. Now, the juice is, of course, O.J. Simpson's nickname. Yeah. All right. So you were saying that royalties from the juice, O.J., would be paid uh, directly to the, they're trying to get to the Goldman family. Right. All right. Okay. So one guy called up confused, thought it was, it was, it was interesting how the word, you know, juice could sound like the word Jews. So because the Goldman name is such a Jewish name, that you must, you know, have some kind of, it was an, whatever. Well, he realized what it was and then realized it was kind of humorous how it accidentally you know, it could sound like that. Now, we've had several calls from people afterwards that said, oh, my God. At first, I didn't then I wouldn't believe it. I explained to my daughter, no, she said the juice. That's OJ's nickname. And some people had heard it and thought it was funny. Well, this is the kind of stuff. This uh, Right now, I'm going to get so much flack for this today. You know what? I'm getting to a point where I just don't even care. A woman called in about a few minutes ago. This is the kind of stuff that I think is making it hard to open your mouth in, in America these days. Check this out. Here it is. Hey, yeah, the gentleman that called us. And this gets ugly. I'm going to tell you right now. A few minutes ago about what Stacy said. Yes. Um, yeah, it did sound like she said the Jews would get the money. She, <laughs> you know, if she, if she meant juice, she said it in the wrong context because she didn't say the juice would give up the money. No, no, no. no, no, no. Here's the exact story. A but... judge has ordered that royalties owed to the juice from past work in movies, TV and commercials be paid directly to the family of Goldman. Well, sure sounded like you said Jews. Well, I, well, it would well, make sense to the story. Well, hold on. Obviously, it did. I mean, the word juice and Jews are really, it's really close. It just happened right. to be. Yeah. I mean, so, you don't I mean, think I would intentionally say Jews? First of all, it doesn't, well, make, it doesn't I hope make not. Well, come on. Well, it doesn't well, even you don't, make, you don't, you really oh, think man. that Stacy would say Jews in the story. Do you really? Come on. No, okay. but, you know, if. But there's if no you, buts. There's no but. I mean. If that's what it you know what? sounded like and it offended people... Then, no one's you know, offended. No offended. one's offended. Yeah, We've had Jewish people calling up thought it was funny because they realized, oh, my God, people, that sounded like Jews, and she was saying Jews. But so, that's what it sounded like. It yeah, did. what I'm saying, there's no one offended. No, I am Jewish, and I think it was offensive that really? it sounded like that. Well, you know yeah. what? I mean, that's ridiculous. You know she didn't mean that. That's his nickname. I mean, come on. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that is ruining the society we live in. People that want to sit around and be offended on the, every word that's turned no, when there's I nothing there. No, I don't want to be offended, but that's really oh, what if it you, sounds like. If you like. really feel that way, then you love being offended and love jumping out when there's nothing oh, there. you're an asshole. That's not offensive? <laughs> Yeah, I, I meant for it to be offensive, but, you know. Well, we didn't. There's the difference between you and us. Yeah, but, you know, you're just purposely putting people down. Oh, my Perfectly. God. Are you, you serious? Me, you just told me that I love being offended. Why would I love being offended? Because I, I would love to, I would you know, love Do you to love know. people calling you up? Fat, ugly slob? Of course you no, don't. It hurts your feelings. It Nobody's doesn't hurt ever me. Him that. <laughs> that, that, that's really that'd be nice. a first. Wow. No, oh, that's not a first. I already hear it on the radio all the time. That You know, that's what people call you. No, they don't. Everybody you... knows you're a fat, ugly slob. Wow. So you know what? You're, you are ugly inside and don't, out. I don't want you to say anything about no, her. No, that's horrible. No, that's no, absolutely you know, horrible. It's time to, to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Jerks, Let her you know? speak because she you is a people. just a couple of jerks. People. You know? Wow. All right. I'm just amazed and shocked. It's like if you would think that if we've been here for five years, and if you would think I would call somebody the Jews, the Jews, instead of calling them the Goldman family or Ron Goldman, you are out of your head and you have such issues. And how dare you or anybody else call my husband fat and ugly? You know what, lady? Show up here and I will beat the crap out of you. I don't care what you you are not representative of our listeners. You're not representative of South Florida. And and how dare you take a shot at my husband and I will I will kick your hiney. And if you were offended because you believe Stacy meant to do a slur on our Jewish listeners, then we truly are sorry. But if not, then then what Stacy said. All right, we're gonna break it's seven fifty eight at Kiss Country. Hey it's Dan's problems. I heard the, the newscast, and you know what? Even if it did sound, it, it was not malicious, it was not vindictive. You guys don't have a horrible, hateful bone in your bodies. It's evident from listening to you every single day. 
Well, I, you know, I appreciate that because I'm sitting there going, wow, did, did any people really think she, no. any, I just was, I just was, okay. I mean, I've never met you guys in person, but for God's sakes, that is like so anti what you project on your, on your radio program. I mean, it's the exact opposite. I, I, can't, I can't even believe, that, I can't, I was like in, in, in shock listening to that lady talk. Oh. Well, I appreciate mm-hmm. you calling, okay? Well, tell Stacy just to hang in there because everybody knows that she's got to be one of the sweetest, kindest d- disc jockeys on the, on the air. Yeah, well, you know, here's the only thing. If this lady does come down and she's, you know, like bigger than Stacy, oh, no, we no, no, might no, need no, your no. number in case. <laughs> <laughs> she might need some backup. I find back people to send down there and protect you guys, but don't get upset because you guys are phenomenal. And she's obviously not indicative of your listeners. She, she's not. Well, thank you for calling, okay? Yes, thank All right, you. you guys hang in there, okay? okay bye. All right, bye. He's about our favorite favorite guy in the whole wide world. We've had him on like twice in the last three months. Chili Cook-Off, we got him back again. Everybody, Trace Adkins. Yeah, I'm just calling in uh, to voice my disapproval of your sh- your 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 show, uh, if you can call it that. I'm just offended, horribly offended by what you've done there this morning. And uh, Trace, I'm gonna do all I can within the Country Music Association to get y'all cut, just kicked off the air forever. <laughs> Oh, yeah. From a man who hates controversy. Yeah. Yeah. My manager's a Jew. He told me to call and, and weigh in on this on his behalf. Oh, and, you know, uh, Trace, isn't it is an amazing world that we live in? Number one, you can't hardly say anything that, without getting in trouble. And then and then on top of that, have a word just taken a different way. That it wasn't even trying to make a statement. How it turned into That's that. funny. That's funny. Yeah. Oh. Everybody needs to chill out. Mm. I know. Now this lady, you know, she may come down, and, and, and in case you got Stacy's back, is Stacy kind of, you know, I called her out. I call her, nobody makes fun of my. Nobody calls my man bad things except for me. Somebody else does it. I'm taking. I don't stand for that. I, I think it's cheap. It's a cheap shot. Now I tell you what, if I don't know if you've heard that song I had out, Badonka Donk, but I'll slap a grandma around now if I have to. <laughs> then you're perfect for this. Twice See? You can take her. <laughs>